Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Pisces for middle of May. Back to my favorite deck. This is take two. So this is for Pisces. Let's see what we got. Mm hmm. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Now, this is a guy that is very decisive, very authoritative. Uh, looks to me as though he is not happy about something, okay? He's not happy. He may have to make a decision that he doesn't want to make. He's very serious. This is a serious decision. So, he may be a little confused or just... You know, he probably realizes that somebody's going to get hurt. Somebody's going to get hurt here. But that's what it looks like to me. It's like, I got to do it even though I don't want to. So that's what this is. <laughs> this is very burdened. Somebody is carrying a heavy burden. Overwhelmed. It's heavy. Somebody is very overwhelmed with what they're about to do, <laughs> whatever it is. Ooh, they may be letting somebody go. Uh, you could be dealing with another water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, or an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But this is emotional, so it's an emotional time. It's, it's intense. There could be some tears that are shed. This is, this is shedding. So somebody is taking action. Something is changing. Somebody has manifested a change. It's like... Huh. Somebody is taking action to bring success to their life. And I think whatever this action is, it includes letting go of something that has been holding them down. The Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords, if it couldn't get any worse than that, I don't know what could. Death, maybe? <laughs> Freaking A. There's been some lies. There's been some deception. Somebody has pushed somebody away. And now there's a feeling of being defeated. Somebody's been defeated here. Somebody's been involved in a lose-lose situation trying to prove a point, as usual. And now they've cheated themselves of something. This is deception and this one is too. So we got some problems here. So we have betrayal. This is these are both cards of betrayal. So somebody's feeling betrayed, or oh God, maybe the betrayal is what is overwhelming. That maybe that's what somebody is carrying. They're carrying that load of betrayal. You know, they're carrying the burden of what happened. There's been some power struggles. There's been some deception. Lies. Whew. I'm not sure which one is first. Okay. So, this is a tug of war. Like I said, the power struggles. There's definitely been back and forth, back and forth power struggles. There's been a lot of tension. There's been conflict. There's been tension. There's been, you know, on one hand, I want to let go. On the other hand, I want to hold on. What do I want to do? That's 
Now we have this person right here. Is Somebody has probably, you know, lost their concentration and they've lost their focus and they don't have any desire to hold on to it anymore. It's like, I got to make the right decision. I got to do what I got to do. I can't lie about this. This guy's like sneaking away at night. He's like sneaking right out of the picture. This is a very, this is sneaky. This is the sneaky individual. This is somebody that has basically, he thinks he's getting away with something or he is getting away with something. He's a very sneaky, sly individual. <laughs> he has made a decision. Somebody has made a decision. And I just did the daily. So this is interesting. Anyway, this is a decision has been made. To not put in any more effort. There's no victory here. There's no progress being made. There's no um, confidence that. There's no, no confidence. There's no confidence that we can heal this situation. I don't know. There's no confidence, no victory. Needing to find the strength to let go. Because I just let go. Now, the fear, this, this card is find, facing your fears to let go. Somebody is making a decision to find the strength, the, the forces within them, you know, the willpower and the discipline. And you find those tools within them to let go. Just, i got to let go. i got to let go. Somebody is making a decision. This guy takes action. Because there's no victory here. There's no progress. There's no success. This, this is like somebody who is very controlling. This is severing ties as well. So somebody is severing ties. They're making a decision. Definitely making a decision to sever ties and get out. Get out of here. It's like sneak out. I got to get out. Get out. <laughs> oh boy. Not compatible. Somebody there it's like there's there's too many arguments. There's there's a disconnection. Somebody is dealing with a Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn that you know, this one has a lot to offer. She has a golden opportunity in her hand, but this is lies about partnership. So somebody's been lying, perhaps. I don't know about their feelings. Oh my goodness gracious. This is valuable. I mean, this she's she's got a very valuable offer in her hands. This is something solid, something stable, something long-term, something big. So, she sees the deception. She sees the disharmony, whatever it is. This person sees the disharmony. She's looking down at it. Looking at, down at the faults. You know, it's, a, it's not well suited. It's, it's a negative situation. This is bad news. This is somebody that is not well suited for you. Loss of a friendship. Nothing to celebrate. No joy. This is this guy's angry. This guy may be angry. That there's no reunion. There's no reunion here, period. This is no reunion, no coming together, no happiness with a partnership because, maybe because of lies and deception. Sneakiness. Somebody may have involved another person that wasn't, well, a third party situation. She, that is exactly what this is. Somebody involved another person that wasn't well suited for them, probably to prove a point, 
prove something. This is what this one, this one does. I hate that card, Five of Swords. Somebody involved themselves with a third party situation that was a complete lie. And now there's an opportunity to come together and heal a situation or whatever to come to this could be somebody brand new this is a perfect match this is an unexpected choice in love so somebody has an unexpected choice in love with somebody that they are perfect for perfect with But somebody's going to need to find the confidence and the courage to make a decision and choose wisely as to what they want to let go of and what they want to hang on to. Because when this card comes up, there's a choice between two. There absolutely is. This card says that as well. There's a choice between two. The one that is not well suited for you or the one that is. Somebody needs to find the courage and the strength and the confidence to make the wisest decision because be careful, right? Because what you own owns you. Oh, jeez, I'm crawl. So here we go. Here we go. We have the end. I mean, the death is an end. It's a release. Endings bring new beginnings. So we have somebody here that is severing ties with, I think, severing ties with one contract and beginning another because this is the beginning and this is a contract. And this is severing ties. I think we have somebody that is severing ties with one contract and starting a new one. I think there's been a third party situation with somebody that wasn't well suited and it was to, cut, to prove a point of some sort. The burden has been overwhelming. But this is a new beginning. This is a major new beginning. With endings bring new beginnings. You're going to have to find your strength and your courage to definitely choose wisely. Choose wisely here. you got to make a choice here. Oh, jeez. You got to choose, follow your heart. And somebody hasn't been following their heart. They haven't been following their heart. Follow your heart. Follow your heart. Somebody has lost. It's like they've lost a perfect match. They were being unrealistic. This is being unrealistic. But there's an opportunity to deepen the bond. To deepen a bond. Okay, so this could be somebody brand new. This could this is deepening a bond. Deep fulfillment is coming. There's a deep soul connection either here or coming. But it's after an ending. This is an ending. So something is coming to an end and a deep bond is about to develop with a soulmate. Definitely a deep bond could lead to marriage. Definitely. Definitely. This is soulmate connection. There's going to be a celebration. There's going to be an upcoming celebration. I don't know what this celebration is, but there is. There's going to be some celebration. It could be anything. And you're going to connect with somebody that you are meant to be with. No shit. And the bond is going to develop deeply. There's going to be a deep, 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 deep bond. Or there already is. It's like a relationship. If you are in a relationship is about to be more committed Whatever it is, it's a perfect match. So Pisces, I feel like there's a there's an ending here. This is the death. This, that is an ending. Death is an ending. This ending leads to a new beginning. 
And it is a beautiful one. Trust me, it is. Somebody has manifested, this is manifested, the perfect match. It's like they asked for it, they've been dreaming about it, it's what they want, and here it is. Expect the unexpected. That's all I gotta say. There's definitely gonna be some sort of celebration coming up that is gonna bring two people together that are meant to be. It's going to be difficult communication, though, at first. I think it is with that King of Swords. He doesn't look like he, he, he really wants to deliver this message, but he knows he has to. So I think that there's going to be, you know, a difficult message that is delivered, but it's going to start the process, the healing process, because this is healing. Anyhow, that's what I got, Pisces. Good luck.